What's going on, YouTube world? This is the boy with the Pampers and the Toys, Al. I am recording from Paradise, my kingdom. I am president, CEO, founder of Paradise. And I apologize for uploading so late. I just be so busy with work, and I'm really trying to have a balance because I see that I'm getting new subscribers. And I'm very thankful and grateful for my new subscribers coming on to my platform. I'm really trying to build, to push the algorithm through, try to keep the good energy, the good high vibration to all the people who watch my videos and who subscribe to my channel because who wants to come on to someone's platform and see and hear negativity? We already got enough of that in, in balance going on in the universe. So <clears throat> before I go any further, please like, share, subscribe, to the boy with the pampers and the toys. Um, please share with your family, your friends, and your enemies. All right, but before I go any further present what I'm about to present, I had a situation on Instagram where someone kind of attacked me a little bit, and I think it was maybe, no offense, a troll from maybe some other continent, I don't know. And they made some few things that I guess supposed to hurt my feelings. I'm only addressing it because I think that um, hate and jealousy and just bitterness and hate towards projection of yourself is such a low vibrational spirit to have and I get it. I didn't really get mad at that person. I sent a couple comments back to them and I blocked them. You know, they said something about sexuality. Then they said something about um, you and your dolls. You too old to play with dolls and toys. And I'm like, okay, this person must be mad because they can't afford uh, what I'm doing right now. And I work really hard to create this platform to keep a mental health balance in life. I think we all are trying to keep that going because everybody has something going on in life. We all do. But... The low vibration about the situation is that people will project how they really feel about their cell phone to you. So in order for you to see through what you're seeing through, you just got to ignore, don't give her no reaction. And I did not really strongly react, but I fed the beast just a tad bit, which I was wrong because I need to practice. I usually practice what I preach, but I'm told the person, well, you know, I'd rather be gay and I'd rather play with dolls than wake up looking at you every morning. So I was wrong on that part, but I just, I'm mentioning this to you, universe, because you can't stop the gut, the punches, the kicks. They come from left and right and right, but it's up for you to keep your high vibration of away from the ignorance that some demonic people who have no empathy or conscience will bring to your forefront of your home. All right, so going forward, speaking of dolls, a dude who loves dolls. <laughs> this dude, his name is Al. He likes dolls and he likes action figures. Some people may not like this guy that he likes dolls. Now take that, take that. <laughs> so... Today it's going to be a laughing out loud, oh my God, laughing out loud dolls day. And I'm for sure a lot of people already done talked about these dolls, but I'm talking about them for the first time. Um, somebody actually bought me one as a gift a long time ago and was like, Al, this might be good for your toy channel. And this is when I was trying to build my platform the year before last, but certain events happened and that's fine because whatever don't makes you stronger. All right. So, but let me talk to him. Hey, Eileen. Let me, here's Eileen, everybody. Eileen and me, we have been working hard. Eileen, I'm appreciative of her hard work. She, she's always tired, but Eileen gets the job done. Hey, everybody. Nobody makes with my boss because hustler ain't a who he's a boss. So I, he pays my bills and my stuff bucks. <laughs> At least try to play, y'all. But this is my personal assistant of HR, Eileen. Yes. Yes. Ain't she a doll? <laughs> okay. So, let's get them. Eileen, stay right there, baby. All right. So, we're going to be talking about some Laughing Out Loud dolls. Um, first one's going to be Miss 
swag. I think that's her name. These are from the Series 1 edition. And um, I was kind of hesitant about collecting these, to be honest with you. But this was the first one that I got as a gift from, I'm going to say associate of mine. We're, I ain't going to say we're friends, but we're more of associates. And um, uh, this is the first one I got. So I looked at this one. I was like, okay. Okay, I might go ahead and buy another one. So we we're going to be talking about Miss Swag. Paradise, I'll tell you what, folks. It's really overcrowded. But we're going to get through it. I'm going to get done. I'm almost done. I've been getting par Paradise together for a minute. That's why i kind of been off the grid a little bit. Off video, off, you know, uploading and everything. I do apologize again to my new subscribers. But I'm back, 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 back. Next doll we're going to be talking about is... What is her name? Raw B. Oh, look at Raw B. She kind of reminds me of uh, Tequila Tila. Tila Tequila. <laughs> a little bit. All of them like Tequila Tequila. But anyways, uh, Miss Raw B. Uh, what did I pay for these dolls? I think it was like a little bit... 20... I bought these dolls a minute ago, and I'm just now presenting them. So about... I think it was like $19.99 at Walmart a while back. Some time ago. And um, the next doll is Miss Lady Diva. Uh, she reminds me of Lil' Kim, a little bit of Nicki Minaj, and uh, Cardi B in that order. I don't know what it is that's about her. She's giving me them vibes. But I don't know, I like Royal Diva. So we're gonna be talking about her. And um, the next last doll we're gonna be talking about is, um, ooh, sorry baby, is, um, her name is Melrose. I like Melrose. She gives me a little bit of Doja Cat. What's that song Doja Cat had that I like? Say so, say so. I don't know. It was a, like a pop song. But uh, we're going to be talking about these. And um, let's get down to the nitty gritty with these dolls. I'm going to go ahead and get some high vibration energy when it comes to um, basically talking about my girls. I'm, I got so much stuff to present. This stuff is all on the floor. I feel like Stanford and Son in a not, in a more. Um, sanit good sanitary hygiene way. I, I got the stuff stacked up. Then I walk in here, I knock over stuff. So I just be like, you know what? I'm too big to pick you up. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to be talking about Miss Swag. This is the first doll I did get from a uh, associate. And, um, last night, last surprise, there are, um, uh, who, who created these? I'm trying to think who created these. MG Triangle or something like that. I never heard of them. I'm trying to think. And uh, I guess they're supposed to be like hip hop, hip hop dolls, sisters. We sisters, strut, fear style, stand out from the crowd because we're here to surprise the world. Okay. Nouns, pronouns, and all of that. Okay. I guess they're supposed to be like hood chicks. I don't know. Definitely not Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Hillary, Hillary. Um, Coco Jones material, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, um, Miss Swag, I, what I like about Miss Swag, I don't know, it's just something about dolls that have these um, braids. You know, back then, dolls didn't have braids. Um, the first doll they ever had with braids, I think, was the Brandy doll that Mattel made back in the 90s. I know everybody remember that. I'm for sure, hopefully somebody got that doll. Oh, okay, girl, got her stand. Got a stand right here, a little gold stand. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm happy that these dolls come with a stand because Paradise, I've been revamping Paradise and been tr really trying to um, just find a place, you know, to put stuff where I can salvage stuff and so I can get, like, new shelves. Because I have a problem with buying toys, folks. Like, I know I need shelves and stuff, but I'll be spending my money on these action figures and dolls, and I just, it's ridiculous. And, um... I gotta get together. I told myself the new year, I'm only gonna start buying probably five toys a month. That's <laughs> gonna be about 20. Okay. So back to the situation at hand. Oh, let me get my famous black bag. A lot of people cut their time in half because they don't want to show that they open the dial up and stuff. I don't, you know what? I'm just a natural person. I'm gonna give you all of me. You're gonna get all of me. So, I'd rather just, I mean, be realistic. Ain't nothing wrong with cutting the time, your time in half on the videos. Because I think it does cut down 
from people wanting to see you and everything, but I feel like if you want them people that just is naturally, uh, well, what the, what's that little her thing? Lord have mercy, I'm always dropping something, dropping like it's hot, don't I? Oh, I don't know what fell over here. There's so much stuff on the ground that I really wouldn't know. I think her hook fell, maybe. But we'll find it. And let me... Lord. I'm always dropping something, gang. Pamper gang. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I'll find the hook later because I got so much stuff. Like I said, I'm redoing my action figure wall uh, shelf and all of that. So, I have to look for it later. It's somewhere. I bet it's somewhere right under my chair. My chair. <clears throat> okay. Go well. Anyways, the show must go on. So we're gonna talk about Miss Swag. Um, let's see. All right, Miss Swag, come on, baby. Um, I feel like these dolls were in slight competition with Mattel. I don't know why, but um, dang, this girl got a lot of hair. Hair, <laughs> her, 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 her. That's my accent, everybody. Her, 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 her. All right. So, um, oops, I done took this girl's hand out. Give me a hand in my scary movie voice. Okay, I took her hand out, everybody. Okay, but you know, like, I really do feel like, um, <clears throat> I guess these dolls, they, they got a lot of these dolls out now, but I remember, ooh, see, this is what I hate. I don't want to cut this girl's hair. hair. Um, they're in competition because I think they're cute dolls, actually. I think they're really um, adorable. But... It gives me, um, I guess, um, I hate to say this, I'm just speaking my opinion about the dolls. I like them and everything, but it gives me like ratchet vibes a little bit. But at the same time, <clears throat> how they got their outfits is real classy. So I will say it's not trashy at all. Um, Okay, so Miss Royal B, let me give this girl her hand back, cause she can't wave. She can't wave at y'all and give and, and say high five. <clears throat> okay, so Miss Royal B comes with a bag. She comes with a, a purse. There's nothing in there. Um, she gives me um. Uh, who can she remind me of? She reminds me of a little bit of Iggy Azalea, a little bit of Lil' Kim. These dolls, to me, look kind of Asian. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it at all. They give me, um, more so the girls that you see on Instagram. You know, um, uh, no offense, no, 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 no shade or nothing, because I do like Jada Wade. I think Jada Wade is beautiful. And, um... Give me that Instagram uh, Instagram formation about, you know, the real girls. So, <clears throat> she got these hoop earrings right here. Um, the body of these dolls, I ain't gonna lie, is pretty sick in a good way. They got them really curvy. She gives me Beyonce. <clears throat> gives me a little bit of Beyonce, too. But I can say she can give me a little bit of any of these artists all the time, but... It's just, you know, an imagination. Um, with Miss Sway, um, she got these these um, Timberland boots on, heel boots on. The legs, these girls' legs are pretty strong. The legs are not really posable, but the arms are. See, this is what I wish they had. I wish the legs could have been, like, more posable, the knees bend and everything. This is what I really would have hoped for laughing out. The, la the oh my God, laughing out loud dolls. Um, <clears throat> not trying to really talk about her chest area, but they, she does have a little chest area, which I think is cute, adorable. The doll's very feminine, very curvy. And that's what I like, that they embrace. 
I can't say the African American woman, but they embrace the woman, the the female body because it ain't just African American girls that's built like this. I, I, in the name of Stevie Van Lowe on the Parkers and in, in Blossom Russo. <laughs> I like Stevie. So, oops, I'm playing piano. So, um, these dolls right here, there's so many of them out now. And I'm kind of confused a little bit because there is some other kind of dolls that I don't know if they're Oh My God dolls. Maybe they're they are made by the same company, but maybe they're a different name. I haven't really looked in, I haven't really did deep research on these dolls. I, don't, I think it's a cartoon, maybe. Like, as I got older, I really don't watch too many cartoons. They ain't scooby out of Flintstones. Or some season of G.I. Joe, Ghostbusters, She-Ra, something. Mm -hmm. He-Man, mm -hmm. sorry. Old version. So, um, back to her. Miss Swag, I love her outfit. Her outfit, um, they got this button down. It's not really button down. It's more so a style. So, they have her legs, like, she kind of almost like have a skirt on. But the, the, the outfit is still classy. So, I can't sit right here and say that they're trying to be sexual with the dolls. You know, hey, the human, the woman has body and embrace it. Um, I love that they got this hair. Like, this doll has a full scalp, and this is what I love. Like, oh, my God, I did it for this. I'm not going to really take points off. I love the hoop earrings. The hoop earrings is just giving me a little sunshine. It's giving me a little sunshine of a spark at Mary J. Blige Real Love back in 1992 feeling. These dolls kind of remind me like they based on the, the early 90s, maybe. I never heard of them say that, but that's what they look like. Kind of like the Barbie Extras. The Barbie Extras, to me, I feel like they're based in the 80s and early 90s, how their outfits are. Um, her arms are posable. Um, let me see. Let me take off her shoe. I don't really want to take her, her, their feet are made like Barbie's feet, but only the feet are, I think they're bigger than Barbie. You know what's crazy? Mm, no, their feet are too fat. So I'm take off her sock real quick to show the world. This is the feet of the Oh My God dolls. I think her feet is all that. And, um, looks like she got a little pedicure right there going. But I would give this doll basically a, um, I like them. I give them a 10 out of 10. I like this doll. I really do. I recommend this for your child for the holidays. Um, but sometimes you think that certain dolls send certain messages, but I guess you can overlook it over your head and be like, no, I ain't thinking that way. Meaning that it's the new, it's the new generation for me. You know, I come from an early millennium and 90s, 90s generation, early 90s, so, and, you know, I'm an 80s baby, so, you know, the new generation is a new generation, and everybody knows how to get into that formation, so I'm not going to say nothing negative, but other than that, um, you can get these out at Target and Walmart, when I bought, when I got this as a, as a gift, I saw the gift receipt for, like, $24.99, but now you should be able to get these dolls for, like, 20 bucks, maybe, so, okay, moving on. Not going to spend too much time, but that's her right here. Moving on, we're going to be talking about um, the next doll, Royal B. I like Royal B. I do. She's pretty. Giving me that scary spice look. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want, I want, I want. A little bit of Janet Jackson, too. Anytime, any place, huh? <laughs> okay so fun factor um i think that was the hook oh bad by the way i don't know what that was that fell out but i was wrong for moving on the royal b i'm always skipping a beat of something and i do apologize pamper gang you know me this is just me this is just me. I'm just being, um, Al, your pal. Okay, so, I'm thinking the stand goes like this. So, these dolls do come with a stand, which I'm very excited about. So, that means, I'm going to keep this rubber band in case I need a, somebody to hold a microphone. Act like they're April O'Neil or Ninja Turtles on one of my Instagram pictures. <laughs> okay. So, Royal B does have a, um, 
she does have a stand, which I I, I love. Like, come on. Now. So before I go any further, there's Royal B stand. So I'm I'm proud of that that they have stands. Okay, so Royal B can stand stand right there in a the stand, girl. Aileen, pick up on line three. <laughs> okay. So um, and the dolls do come with hair brushes. So this right here is Royal B. I don't know why they get Royal B a hair brush when she got braids, but. I'm trying to make it make sense. So this is, I mean, that will be uh, swag. Swag, why does she have a hairbrush? No. Maybe you want to call my braids out. People do it all the time. Okay, so moving on to Royal B real quick. Um, what I do like about Royal B, I love her outfit. When I first purchased her, I purchased her for 24, what was it, 20? 21, actually I remember, it was $21 at Walmart. It's pretty much the only place you can buy toys now is at Walmart. Don't we all miss Toys R Us sometimes? I know I do. Toys R Us was the, you know what, the business for me. Okay, so. All right. So Miss Royal B. I, I just, I do like Miss Royal B. Girl, I ain't gonna like her in a minute. She can't get out of this rubber band. Man, y'all, what's the band, man? Okay. <clears throat> so, with Miss Royal B, again, she, to me, is a cross beat. She gives me that Janet Jackson, um, the velvet robe without the red valid hair. And she's giving me um, Scary Spice and Freddy from Different World. That's because she got curly hair. And I'm not, you know, trying to ponder and be like, well, why you come? What she got beat them for? It ain't nothing like that. It's my personal opinion. I think it's a compliment. You know, it's really a compliment for the, for the ages. Some people don't know who uh, the young generation they probably don't know who none of the people are. And I'll let you know who they are. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to put this stand together, folks. Um, okay, well, I mean, what the hell do y'all want me to put this in here? Hmm. So I know that that goes at the bottom. Oh, it was upside down. Was it upside down? Okay. Does she go like this? Or does she, I mean, does it go like that? I'm spending too much time on this, and this is not fair. There we go. Woo! Blood pressure was up. Okay. And this is uh, Miss Swag's purse. Let me move it. So, Miss Royal B, I think she's a doll. She's beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, like I said, again, these dolls, they kind of remind me of the uh, of Asian, Asian girls. That, um, I think the Asian girls overseas have good fashion sense like I'm all into the anime and uh, the comic books and um, just the fashion sense because a lot of that fashion sense transitions over here later on in America I don't think nobody I really don't think nobody takes anything from anybody but I do think that um, like the Asian women do trend a lot because they're fashion high fashion so with this Ruby she give me a little bit of Whitney Houston, too. I get so emotional, baby. <laughs> so, um, I love her outfit. She got her little bitty jacket, her little bitty tank top. Look at that. She got her little bitty tank top. Um, got this belt around her little tiny little waist, her little Blanche Deborah waist. And um, I love the boots. The boots are nice. I showed y'all what they feet look like, so I don't have to take off her shoe. She does have leggings on, stockings on, which I, well, I'm going to say they, they leggings. <clears throat> so, um, I love her curly hair. Like, one thing I love that, oh, that laughing out loud, the people who make this MGA, that makes these toy, they make these dolls, they made their hair full scalp. And it's very rare to find. And they got Mattel beat because a lot of Mattel dolls don't have a full scalp. They be having thin hair and... That lets me know that they want to really make their consumers happy. The people who buy their products happy. I don't want to buy a doll and she got a dollar tree. No offense, it ain't a dollar tree anymore. It's a dollar twenty-six. A dollar twenty-six tree 
dolls that have a big old bald spot in the middle of their head and then her looking like Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> so, um, Miss Royal B, like I said, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I, I love these dolls. Look at her little pigtails up here. And, um, like I said, these girls are very curvy. I'm not going to take off their clothes because I don't want to do all of that. I mean, you know how the dolls are built. They're very curvy and healthy. And not really busty at the top, but a nice size chest area. So, uh, definitely this dog gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, by the way, I love how they have nails, but they're not really polished. But, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, they got polished nails. So, they have polished nails. And Swag had polished nails, too. I didn't show that before. So, I do apologize, Pamper Gang, for that. But definitely, um, I recommend this doll for anybody. Good holiday gift, birthday gift for your child, your little girl, you know, whoever. And um, let's move on. I I'm liking this. Oh, and she got this purse right here as well, too. I love her purse. It goes with her outfit. So, Miss Royal B's got, she's got that swag like the real swag over here. So, what did I drop? I dropped that girl's purse. Oh, well, I'll get it later. But everybody knew what her purse looked like. That's Miss Royal B, everybody. So moving on to my third doll. And she does come with a hairbrush. But I would say be careful because her hair is really curly. And you got to really be careful with um, sometimes the doll, if, how they put the doll's hair in, brush it a certain way. So next, we have um, Lady Diva. I do like Lady Diva. And um, Lady Diva's really pretty. She really is. Uh, and you know, like, when you want to. I know some people only collect certain dolls, but I know it's like on Twitter. Like, there's a, there's a lot of people that collect Laughing Out Loud dolls. And I only, like I said, I only own four so far. I, I'm going to see how they look on my shelf. And maybe I'll start collecting them. I don't know, but eventually I'm about to get a house. My apartment is not what it's what it's not gonna have room, and it's in, it's in paradise. It's gonna be overcrowded, overcrowded. So I gotta really be careful about my paradise in to my toy room. Okay. So um, I I remember I paid twenty one. It was like twenty two dollars, twenty one nineteen. A target for her, 22, 20, 22, I'm trying to remember. It's been some months ago. And I know people be like, well, why are you presenting her now if you bought her some months ago? Well, I have a lot of stuff to present. Y'all just don't understand. And I'm going to present my items. Okay. Oh, wow. I like her already. Okay. So, with Lady Diva, kind of remind me of one of these rappers. <laughs> so I said she gives me like Nicki Minaj vibes and, um, uh, oh wow. Okay. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I am gonna use, it's so easy to cut a doll's hair with them scissors, cause I just strap these dolls down so much. I just be like, man, like prisoner of war. In the name of Ramana Wakanda. Queen Ramanda. Oops, did I reveal too much about that movie? Okay. So, with Miss Lady Diva, I can tell y'all already right now, I like this doll. I think she's one of my favorites. She really is. All right. So, with Miss Royal Diva, whatever type of glue they use on these dolls, hair, the curl it and stuff, whew, I'll tell you what. I didn't even take these little things off in the back, but I'll get them later. They're not that important. So with Miss Royal Diva, Lady Diva, oof, sorry, Royal B. She's gorgeous. Like I think she's my favorite one out of all of them so far. I love her outfit. I love the fur. I love the earrings. She's giving me a little sassy that um, that look him and that uh, crush on you video. I know you see me on the radio. True. <laughs> Uh, no matter what people say, we got it going on. So, um, I like how 
They got the ponytail. I don't know, it's a thing about ponytails with the dolls I really do like. I really do. Um, I'm not going to say that um, her hair... Her hair looks a little thin, but I get it because the metric that they want to make create a style, kind of like Rena Chanel, my Barbie ex that I named with the pink outfit. I call her Rena Chanel. It's what it really reminds me of because Rena Chanel has thin hair as well too. She's a blonde Barbie, but I don't like too many of the blonde Barbies. But she's my favorite one. Nah, that's my favorite one I like. But um, I love her boots. Um, I love the tank top. I love how they got um, Lady Diva right here on the belt. I think I bent it a little bit when I took this when I took her out of the strap thing. I love the skirt. And another thing I am so happy about is that they have shorts underneath her. Or underwear. They have underwear for her. I think it's maybe a bikini. This may be a bikini. And I'm just showing you in case y'all want to get this doll. I think it's maybe a bikini underneath this skirt. But the outfit is sick. Look at that. She's got something, a necklace called Slay. I ain't gonna say these dolls are giving Mattel a run for their money because Mattel's been out for a long time. These dolls got a long way to go. And to what would have been more sick, like I said before, with swag, they would have had the knees bent a little bit. If they had the knees bent, this would have been really great. So, um, what I will say is, um, I like the curly hair. I think this is a fierce, very fierce doll. And, um, I would just, I would really, um, I don't know if they, I think they do sell outfits alone for these dolls, but like I said, I'm not into buying them because I haven't decided if I want to fully collect these dolls yet. I collect pretty much everything, but, which y'all know. And, um, with her, what I like about what they did with her that was different from the other two dolls is that... I don't know, it's just her makeup is so, it looks so different. And again, these dolls, they look Asian. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, every time I look at them, I think of a Asian, a Asian pretty girl. So, um, with that being said, I would recommend this doll for anybody. I mean, she gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I like the Oh My God dolls. I will see if they have dolls that are posable to these and everything. Um, I'm going to create the stand real quick and keep the rubber bands for maybe a, um, some sort of a oh lord please 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 don't fall apart on me don't follow me okay well okay there we go so so far these dolls are getting tens for me I would highly recommend these dolls for your child really I would and again she comes with a little pocketbook I love the pocketbook. All their pocketbooks match. I drop Royal B's on the ground. I'll get her after the video's over with. She'll be okay. Royal B got a wallet in her ATM card. <laughs> so, definitely. And then she got a hairbrush as well. And um, I'll throw that in the loop. So, she gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Last but not least, um, we're going to be talking about. Um, I don't want to put her right here because she got to fall. I mean, not Liz. Liz is over there. We love Liz to the channel. Eileen, watch her. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your services. All right. Last but not least, we're going to be talking about a bigger... Um, she's in a bigger box. I don't know why. She just once said... This is um, Marrow's. And um, I don't know if Marrow's is bigger than the other dolls, but we'll find out. But again... Um, so far, I'm liking these dolls. I don't know. Marrow's... Ooh... I don't wonder why she was so high. I just like the way she looked. I did. I really did. Okay. Okay. You know what? It looks like a job. Meryl's got a lot more going on than the other girls. So, she has a lot of accessories, folks. She got a surprise. They said she comes with a surprise, so we're going to find out what that surprise is, folks. Oh, she got a lot of surprises in here. Okay. I ain't mad at you, Meryl's. Well, you remember that show called Meryl's Place? That was my show back in the day. Some of y'all may not remember New Age Babies, but maybe you need to go on YouTube and watch Meryl's Place. Look it up from the 90s. It was a good show, but not the last three seasons. 
Okay. So, um, back to Marrow's. I'm like, ooh. ooh. Okay, come on now, Marrow's. I'm liking Marrow's attire. I'm liking the way she looks, period. Of course, I got a. Well, can't save these rubber bands because, you know, we're trying to get Marrow's out of jail. Okay. Woo! The agony that they just strap these dolls down. Ah. Okay, no, I gotta be careful with this strap because I don't wanna mess up her suspenders. See, this is why I like showing me open up the doll on TV. Because they be like, watch your handle time. I ain't watching my handle time. People gonna see me wrong on cut, cut these dolls. I mean, I'm not cut these dolls. Like, I ain't cut these dolls. Okay, I gotta really be careful because this is on the edge of the suspender. There we go. We got it off. Okay. Woo. My blood pressure was going up. Come on, my gang. I wear the gloves. Okay. So, Miss Merrill's comes with a lot of surprises, and this is what I, I would have never known. When I bought her, I was thinking she was like the other ones, didn't really have nothing. But let's see what does Miss Merrill. This is Miss Merrill's. That's Miss Merrill's, everybody. I, oh my God, I think she's my favorite so far. She got these chains, she got her suspenders. Homegirl has got body for days. Look at her nails. Got her nails did. This is what I like about um, the Oh My God Girls. What's that, Nivea song? Oh my girls, get your hair fixed and your nails done. Make them pay for it, saying, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so back to the doll. Um, I love the hairstyle. It's, look, she got her kitchen cut in the back, so her kitchen, like, it looks like it's hair, it's supposed to be hair dye, mold. It's a mold, it's not hair. So you can see that. I'm loving the outfit, this outfit's sick. I love the boots. I would've preferred heels, but I get the style. These guys have style. I like their their attire. And um, like I said, if you see that Miss, Miss Merrill's is curvy, homegirl is curvy. She's like she's more curvy than the other girls, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. Um, she got the chains right here. That's what I love about the outfit. But you gotta be careful because that can pop off. It's plastic. Um, I love they got her a little tattoo right here for her. Uh, well, maybe it's, it's like her makeup house on. This doll right here is like, this is, well, I like all of them, but I like her and I like, um, Lady Diva. And she was actually, I think about 30 bucks. 29 something something like that so let's see what her surprises are real quick you know then we're gonna wrap the video up folks definitely okay so all right i'm actually kind of thrilled to see how these dogs are okay here go her first surprise oh no wonder why she was about 30 bucks. Ooh. Okay. So she does come with an outfit. This looks like this is a jacket. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's beautiful. It's an Oh My God shirt. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. And my Shanae Jenkins, Latoya, Latasha, the TV voice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next, here's her second surprise. What is this right here? Stop comes with all kind of surprises. You always gotta save the best for Oh. Wow. So. It looks like. She has some jewelry attire. Cause she seems like she's a punk rocker. Let me stand her up so people can see her at home and see what's going on with Miss Mary Rose. Hey, Mary Rose, say hi. Okay. So there's Miss Mary Rose. Okay, so the jewelry, this is the second surprise she got. And she does come with a hairbrush, which I wouldn't need because I'm just displaying the dolls. This looks like this could be an earring. It's a safety pin, if you can see it. It's a safety pin. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's amazing. And this looks like this is um 
a spike of knuckle brass. Not knuckle brass. I don't want to say that because no. But it's, it's earrings, definitely. And it's like she got a wristband right here. Um, a bracelet, not a wristband. Like she could go to the club. Okay, so the third surprise that Miss Marrows comes with. She got some glasses. Look at these glasses. These glasses are sick. I hope I put them on right. Because they don't have any nose to hold them up. Okay, so that's Miss Marrows and her glasses. So her last surprise that she comes with, and I hope it's some pants. No. Actually, I like it. This purse. She's got a guitar purse. Now, it's strange that you see now, New Age, now, the new purses they have. I, I was on Jada Wada's uh, Instagram account, because I do like her. She had like a, was it a bottle of wine, a hot sauce bottle as a purse? I thought it was cute. It's something different. So, definitely with, um, with Miss, um, what is this girl? Oh, Marrows. I forgot that quick. Miss Merrill's name, I mean, Miss Merrill's name. With Miss Merrill's hair, she's got a lot going on. And um, she got that jacket. I wish they would have came with some more pants, but I get the dynamics. I get it. There's nothing wrong with having this blue jean jacket. And then Miss Merrill's does come with something like how to be a music maven. So she might be a recording artist in a cartoon, I guess. So definitely Miss Merrill's, she can say. I like her already. She gets a 12 out of a 10 for me. I would recommend this, how to recommend this doll for Christmas or a birthday gift for your child. And um, I'm going to set all my girls up. <clears throat> all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Now put your hands up. All right. So I'm ready to show all off my girls. Okay. Oops. Lord have mercy. I tried. Games change, but I feel. When will they go from here? When will they stop? <laughs> oh God, y'all. I'm just I'm a I'm a clown. I try to just, you know, I want people to feel good about life and you know, we all human. Why can't we have a little fun? Okay, well, all right. And my last but not least, I got Miss Lady Diva here. These are all my girls. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Put your hands up. <laughs> I'm stupid. All right, please like. Share, subscribe to the boy with the pampers and the toys. Please like, share, subscribe with your family, your friends, and your enemies. And I'm going to add something else on. Haters. And I would like to thank my new subscribers. I'm humble. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for helping me build my platform. If it wasn't for my subscribers and the people who comment. Um, thank you, Angelo. Uh, you know, just, just thank you, Chris. Thank you. All who comment on my stuff, um, even on Instagram, I lo the love is real for toy lovers. We got to be there for one another. It's not about having a mind of a child. It's about having a mind to like your toys and accept it. And everyone have a good day. Now put your hands up. <laughs>